So let's take a look at um, Has anybody done any work on the annotator, the one that's due for next week? Let's save that for last, and we'll come back to Veron Veronique's. Let's look at her project two. Um, she described it in her post as a MASH Talk podcast weekend. I'm working on content and function and started adding podcasts. Okay. Um, so I think this looks a lot like um, Shane's, maybe. So I'll take a few minutes and poke around this, and I'm going to do so as well. Um, Pardon? Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. So, David and anybody, this is the one we're on now. And what is she doing? Okay, so here, Shane, you're going to look at this, and you're going to critique this for us and tell her what she should be doing here. So I'm going to... So I think what she's doing is she's just trying to break up It's so she's taking a podcast and chunking it out into sequential chunks, which is all good. Um, and how could she do that in code, Shane? You know how. Okay. So I'm just going to clone the one, the first chunk. And, um, I'm not seeing the she's pulling it in an iframe. She's got here's her here's her URL. It's basically instead of pulling it as an iframe, she wants to use the canonical URI structure. Um, like we see in the tiddlywiki.mp3 tiddler. So I'm going to drag tiddlywiki.mp3 to hers. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to save hers. and open it. David, what's your workaround? Okay. Um, in the chat, well, first you got to delete the old tiddly, or the old um, new tiddly flex extension. I'm going to catch and up. There's a link. another moment. Um, okay, sorry. That's all right. So this is a little annoying. It should ask you, but there must be a reason that it doesn't. Okay, so now I'm gonna drag that tiddlywiki mp3 into hers, import it, and the structure of this, as Shane well knows, that's not the one we wanted. We want the, what was it, Caruso or something? This one. Caruso Ava Maria. And the nature of these tiddlers is that they're type audio MP3. They have a field called underscore canonical underscore URI, not URL, which has the MP3 file in it. And so if we find hers, You don't have to download it. 
but let's it, it is a little tricky so let's find her match to, let's find it out in there in the world is this the podcast Where's hers? Let's find. Um, so let me close a few tiddlers. So we got to get to. Ooh, she's doing a lot of work with these. Okay. Um, we got to get to the original, to the chunk of the podcast that she wants. I think it's Samsung's Galaxy S8 phone. Samsung's Galaxy S8 phone. This is the actual segment of the podcast that she wants. And here should be the URL. And she's got it as an embed. So let's see how this does. Okay, that's good. There's the stop button. Okay. So the challenge is how do you get the URL out of this thing? This is sort of a scrapey issue. Um, what I usually do is go to web developer tools, <coughs> page source, search for MP3, and there it is. It looks like it's another one. Shows. Um, let's look at it again. So what's the name of this thing? Mash talk. Yeah, they don't make it easy to do what we're trying to do. So we do have to do a little scraping. Um, here's the URL. Here's the image. And here is the there's another URL. We still haven't found the MP3. This is what you were doing too, right, Shane? Here it is. So this will be a little tricky. This one's. It does work um, because it starts each one, right? It starts where you want it. So rather than, um, so you can click in here. But anyway, we could talk about Samsung all day. I do want to talk. All right, other things happened this week. Real. Um, so anyway. Okay. We Thanks, Billy. So yeah, the way she has it works. Okay, good enough. Um, okay, and then she's got a nice set of tags that allow you to navigate across all these mash talk podcasts by topic. Um, so if we want to go to SpaceX, okay. Um, yeah. So let's look at some other pieces of her code to see what she's doing. Pardon? Okay, so using, so she's got the template thing down. She's doing a lot of div work. Um, 
this this could be done as CSS. And so, um, Veronique, if you're interested, one thing that you could explore to move this further along, unless you're doing a whole new project, would be to move some of the style stuff into CSS. Has anyone experimented with that? Anyone done any CSS work in the style sheet? So a bit. No, CSS in, yeah, so there's a way to do it. Um, and I would think that that's pretty much an advanced thing, but I think that there's evidence that Veronique is ready to do that. Um, how to apply custom styles by tag. And so you basically, you can add in a style sheet, a custom style sheet for CSS. And where's the other CSS stuff? Um, styles and classes and wiki text and style sheet macros. Um, and so, oh, there it is, using style sheets. That's what I've been looking for. And so once you use this style sheet, so I'm going to put a permalink in here. Have you seen permalink? So you set permalink, it puts it up into the URL, into the tag. I can copy that now. I can put that in her thing. So I think that she can, Veronique's next step, if she wanted to move this forward, would be to move her styles into templates um, and into style sheets. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, And she's doing this tabs. Um, I'm finding, so these are the examples that she's pulling. Okay, so she's doing a pretty complex tag macro. Um, and, she's, and she's hitting all these different parameters. So that works. Um, And what else is she doing of interest? She's got um, a big chunk of text in these fields called intro. So she's put her text in there. Um, and that works. Another approach would have been, so we're gonna call this intro to mash talk and put it in there. So push things out to tiddlers instead of using fields. And then you can, you can um, transclude. So you can transclude values and then they're a little easier to edit. So when you bury a value like a block of text into an intro field, deep into a tiddler, it's going to be really hard to track down. Um, and if you're running this in a production mode, you want things in tiddlers. Tiddlers are cheap, and so multiple tiddlers sometimes helps you um, just a little easier to edit. Editing things in field values is annoying and complex. Um, so that might be a suggestion. And um, what else do we have running here? The only other thing would be to take a look at Shane's work and see if you can use the audio MP3 type of field and, and bring them in the way that, um, you like that better than the default player. Yeah. yeah. You can style the default player. You're right. Um, she's, because she's iframing. Iframes are okay, but they're in general, in the, in the long term, they're not going to be, they're not the best design choice. Um, they're rather picky and, and um, you can do weird things like you can click on this inside the iframe. And in this case, it works. It takes you out, but sometimes it will, re, it will, it, you know, you get some additional functionality. You get their info box. Um, 
and you can you get their share box so you're doing stuff inside somebody else's website but it's within yours it's a little weird because you're, you 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 think you can control it but you can't really so it's like you know there's a lot that's happening so an iframe from a control perspective you give your your reader can kind of surf the web in an iframe and you can't control where they're going or what they're doing and if you use Shane's approach with the mp3 file you right now you get this ugly black bar you can fix that with style sheets but um it's a choice i guess i'd kind of like to see her bring in the content um the way the chain's doing with the mp3 stop start so okay so i'm going to stop recording